director as well, both working with him, and um, you can't learn from two better guys. Here on ESPN on October 11th in Las Vegas, we saw Floyd Mayweather with a second round oven, then lost that controversial fight in the bronze medal round to Seraphine Trophy in that Olympic tournament. You know what his first pro fight is his big weapon. Sanders trying to dig to the body. Now, is it a problem for Mayweather that he's fighting a southpaw in his second pro fight, or does his extensive amateur experience negate that? Yeah, the second part of what you said is, is in fact, he's capable of boxing, make no mistake about that, but uh, he is, in many respects, a pure puncher. Here at the Tingley Coliseum in Albuquerque, it's about 45, maybe 50 degrees indoors. And Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Reggie Sanders continue with their scheduled four-rounder here in round two. And look at Sanders putting his punches together. He says, I don't care. Seldom on ESPN are we on in the afternoon. We're hitting the, oh, good hook. There's the hook by Mayweather. It may look wide, but it's got pop. And Sanders continuing to press Mayweather. But now Mayweather's trying, starting to get some of his power shots in there, that right hand and the hook. That's the combination. All right, and there's a look at the opponent, Bobby Giefert. Second fight in 29 months. 19 wins, 8 losses, and for most of those 29... Tape ...for Floyd Mayweather and Bobby Giefert. You can see the one-pound weight advantage for Giefert, the four-inch reach advantage for Mayweather. Eight his camp as soon as a six-week intermediate period is done. How long ago did you fight Bobby Giefert, Roy? Back when I was 13 years old. So that would be 14 years ago? Yep, exactly. What do you remember about him? that he's left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? He hasn't changed. <laughs> Still a southpaw. Giefert said to us, yeah. The fault much is that they were in the, er, in the later round. This one's scheduled for oh. six. Down goes Giefert. And Mayweather comes back with rights, and Giefert will go down, and That's it. Joe Cortez. You can see that Floyd is two years younger, has a one-inch height advantage and a one-and-a-half-inch arm length advantage measured from the armpit to the end of the fist against the guy who is regarded by many as a slightly bigger man because he's been in this weight class his whole career. But they both weighed in at the limit of 140 pounds and tonight unofficially on... ...three minutes of every round, which he says other opponents have failed to do. Yeah, Claudio said that he's going to put pressure on Floyd instead of laying back trying to box like most of the guys that he's fought in the past. Well, it certainly makes sense because I think boxing Floyd Mayweather is for most fighters going to be suicide. The question is, is it the southpaw, Demarcus Corley, and then steps forward and hits Corley with a straight right hand and another. It's interesting to know that both of these guys have built from your days of training Lennox Lewis against him when he was training at Andrew Holyfield. What might Don do to change Corley, if at all? Well, Don Turner's one of the good veteran fighters. In fact, Don used to work with the crunk. The challenge by Corley in the round. Corley right on the chin. On the other hand, Corley trained for six weeks with Costa Zou. The momentarily back Mayweather off, but Floyd comes right back and pressures Corley to the ropes, lands two good body shots. Rolls have been reversed. Here's a big left hand by Corley. Momentarily stuns Mayweather. Hurt Mayweather too. Mayweather grins, fires back two body shots, but make no mistake, he was stunned by the left hand. Let's go. Mayweather is shaken it off and goes back after the uh, Corley with. <laughs> okay, Jim. Three to nothing. 30 to 27. Floyd Mayweather. Well, he's in trouble now as Demarcus Corley once again catches him and now tries to go to work against the ropes. A right hand sent Mayweather back into the ropes. And now Corley working against a Mayweather who's leaning back against the ropes. Trying to get in something good to the bot. Carly has to get a little bit more swing room for him. Right hand by Mayweather. Hardest punch of the fight. Corley.
visibly stunned by that one. Trying to duck and slip. Catches another big right hand. And down goes Corley to his knee. Two solid right hand shots. Well, that's stunning to me because I thought he went down to stop the assault. This but in the scoring down. of the fight, it won't be a knockdown. And Mayweather grinned over at us as if to say, what a fight. And now Corley's back on him and landing big shots. I never expected this. But, you know, the way it's going, I don't think it's going to go to trail rounds. Hard right and hands back. This kind of a ball for it's five rounds. Once you, once you get in the rhythm of a wall like that, it's very hard to get out of that. But you know, you, it just gets in your blood, too, and you can't change up. But at this stage here, the fight can go either way because oh, Carly is still oh throwing God. hard punches That's when he does punch. He has no power is went out of his punches. And Mayweather just seems to be a little sharper, a little bit more comfortable in there, probably because of the activity level. Mayweather begins to back away from Corley's assaults. But Mayweather's very good at that landing the ropes and rolling the shoulders and turning around. It, that's something he masters. Oh, oh, oh. Well, hold the ropes. That's twice. Come on, let's go. Stab is warning Corley not to hold the ropes. And, and continuing to work underneath to the body of Corley. Corley lands two shots, but takes two quicker ones in return. And this time it will... No, 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 no. no. Fifth time Corley's been on the canvas. Only one. A lot of weapons in his arsenal. And again, to repeat the point that Emmanuel has made several times, such remarkable accuracy on his punches. Left took Flores Corley, right in the center of the ring. Larry, you have a theory that Judah is going to try to come in hard and... Popular against the South Park. There's Judah with a straight left. This is the first round of his mission. We're just gonna have to see. Judah Lamb combinations. He hasn't thrown any real oh. hard punches. Hometown of Grand Rapids, Michigan against Carlos Famous Hernandez. There's a good quick right hook inside by Judah. Left hand to the body, and Judah continues to look upstairs. Firing his jab. He hasn't really landed the jab yet, but he's occupying Floyd with that work. inside by Zab Judah. Landed it flush on Mayweather's jaw. You don't see that very many times. It, it was almost like an uppercut. Two good body shots there by Judah. Zab's had a pretty good first two rounds against Floyd Mayweather. And that in right. Let me comment on one thing first. The, the size of the gloves. Up to 154, the gloves got to weigh eight ounces. Now, I know a million people are probably going to tell us that Zab Judah is wearing smaller gloves than Floyd Mayweather. They both weigh eight ounces. They're different gloves. Big left hand over the top by Judah. He believes he's got no other hurt. Crowd is going wild for Judah. He landed a straight left cross flush. The left-handed land, the left landed, the rest of the blows were grazing or didn't land. we've ever seen that at this stage of a fight against somebody like Zab Judah. And the bottom line is, we've got close competition in Las Vegas. May Good body shot by Mayweather. Mayweather hasn't really been challenged since Jose Luis Castillo four years ago. You see when Mayweather throws that straight right, he's just throwing the straight right and falling in. There's nothing that comes after that punch. Here he tried the left hook afterward. Mayweather wasn't bothering to lift his left shoulder in defense of his chin as he's done so often in the past. In the last couple of rounds, he's gone back to that discipline, and that has slowed Judah down just a little bit. Good left hook to the body by Mayweather. Judah tries to retaliate immediately with a right hook. Floyd's measuring now. He's trying some good straight punches. He's measuring, he just wants to get the, that punch in there accurately. 
judges do rely on. A lot of judges find it irresistible to score the blood. There's no blood on Floyd. Having been whipped for most of the round, now he lands a right hand, and Mayweather kind of grins at him. As if to say, oh, here's the late round flurry I've seen before. Now there is blood on Floyd, but it's Judah's blood. That's what Floyd has been guarding against. Even while he's been dominating Judah, he hasn't become reckless because he knows that Judah is looking now to land one of those wild punches. For Floyd Mayweather and Victor Ortiz, everybody knows already. Ortiz is 10 years younger than Mayweather. Has a one-inch difference in height in his favor. But the unusual stat here is arm length. Look at... ...fighting Mayweather from this distance, Emmanuel. Seems to me he has to get... Floyd is, is so skilled. You can be sure he's very aware and trying to neutralize his best punch the left hand landed for Ortiz he's getting closer now and trying to Ortiz gets him into the corner where he might be able to do some business no court he gets Mayweather into the corner and goes after him again he tries to much but you know Victor's gonna have to improve increase his effort because right now Florida is systematically breaking him down no, they're fighting at a Floyd Mayweather yeah, pace. Florida's fighting a beautiful fight right now. And now the left-hand lead lands again for Ortiz. Mayweather three. Okay, Jim. Two rounds to one. 29-28 Floyd Mayweather. Jim, in round three, Floyd got into his rhythm, beat the heck out of him, and he's continuing right here. Look at those right hands. Beautiful. The left hooks up on them now in this round. Mayweather usually is a, a zen master of... Non-aggression. Before Floyd got away. They were the lands a chopping left hook to the side of Ortiz's face. Misses with the right. And Victor Ortiz lands the right hook. He got one in there. And he lands another one. And the big left. And Ortiz is ripping Mayweather against the ropes. And Floyd's making a miss and stepping away. Ortiz's greater strength showing up when they go to the ropes. This is still walking through Mayweather's big shots, but his right eye is beginning to stop. And he seems to feel the urgency. Pushing Mayweather back against the rope. Jumping on him. Cortez calling timeout. They're talking to each other. Ortiz was apologizing. This is a and Mayweather. Way. Just because this is his biggest moment. Very important. Well, and there it is. Guerrero utilizing the tactics. Oh, Guerrero, left hook to the body as they clinch. And Guerrero doing what he has to do to try to impose his winch in close quarters. Robert Byrd, the third man in the ring. Even if he doesn't land, he's very reactive. It's Again, counter. And kept Guerrero off balance. Guerrero, it's not for lack of trying on Guerrero's part. And yet at the age of 36, it's been a point where other great champions have experienced sudden unforeseen declines. Uh, Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali, and Larry Holmes were all beaten. what it's going to be because all of them are fast. And another right hand hurts Guerrero. Ten seconds left. The fans now beginning to get behind. 